Hi, welcome to Givendale English Swinger Spaniels. I just want to show you a quick training tip on how to steady a dog up. A dog that's maybe, it doesn't matter what age it is, even six, seven month old pup, up to three, four, five years old. This type of training will still steady a dog that may be outranging, uh, not sitting, disobeying uh, commands, breaking commands. The basic thing to do is go back to the lead, right? So this is just a normal slip lead, soft cord lead, doesn't hurt the dog at all because that's not what we want to be doing. So basically this routine, which I'm going to show you, dead simple, works every time. So just call me to you. Come on, Good girl. Good to me. That's it. Right, so basically what you would do, you have the dog on the lead and to teach a dog to walk to heel. I'm not going to pull the lead back hard with Midge because she's already trained to walk to heel. So I don't want to shock her. But if your dog's pulling on the lead, a quick sharp jerk back with the words, the command heel, that's all you need to do. It's like shocks the dog. It's not a choke chain. It doesn't hurt the dog. But it shocks the dog and stops the dog from pulling all the time. Just teaches the dog to walk to heel nice and calm and like I say, once you've done that a couple of times, you usually find that the dog responds, knows that it can't pull, and starts to walk to heel. So right, so we've got the dog walking to heel, we basically then walk on, I think, using the stop whistle, we give the command to sit, I give three commands when I'm training a dog, one is to whistle, one is a, a hand signal, so in this case it's just a one finger. The dog understands to stop and sit, and also verbally sit. So this type of training, what you do, you walk down a nice quiet lane or somewhere like that, somewhere there's no interruptions, no distractions. Walk the dog every so many yards, ask the dog to sit. So basically, and when we, we move off, we always give the dog what's called a break off command so it just doesn't decide to move on its own, so we would say, and heal. So every so many yards, give the command, let the dog see the command, the visual command as well, ask the dog to sit, Keep practicing this over and over again. Once the dog is sitting every time, nice and what we call tight to the command, then you can start teaching the dog to stay. So basically to do that, we ask the dog to sit. Once the dog sat, we give it the stay command, which I use the flat of a hand, and I will say to the dog, and stay. We leave the lead on, because the lead's control all the time, the dog still thinks it's under control. Give it the flat of the hand, you step away. Leave the dog sat, always go back into it. Good girl, good girl. Give the dog plenty of praise, pick up the lead, and away you go, and heel. And sit, and stay. Give the command again, drop the lead walk away, you can maybe get a bit further this time. Always go back in. Now the reason we always go back into a dog is because the dog's biggest fear, biggest anxiety, is that you're actually going to leave the dog and you're not going to come back. So the dog jumps up, breaks the command and follows you. So after a few times the dog realises that you're always going back, so there's no need to get worried, there's no need to get ang anxious. It stays where it is, and it takes the command. Now, the next stage is, is very important. So once you've got the dog sitting and staying, and you can walk away 25, 30, 40 yards, walk back, the dog doesn't move, doesn't break the command, you can then move on to the next stage. The next stage is to do the same thing, but then take off the lead and stay, walk away again. You've got the lead in your hand, go back, as before, pop the lead back on and heel and off you go again. So all this training leads on and on and on and it's steadying the dog all the time. You're using the 
the sit whistle which is actually the stock whistle so you can see where this is going from here so basically once you've got the dog rock steady and you're walking away 30 40 50 yards you can take the lead off you go back don't be in a rush to start calling the dog to you this is where things go wrong what people the mistake people make is after a couple of weeks I think oh this is easy the dog's sitting and staying every time I'll start calling it to me now every time what that does in my experience is it starts to put an idea in the dog's head it's, I call it second guessing so what the dog does is it thinks oh yeah here we go again we're doing this training he sits me down he walks away and then he calls me up oh I'll go now so it starts to break the commands so you have to go right the way back to the beginning and start again so my advice to anybody to get a dog absolutely rock steady do not be in a rush to start calling the dog to you let it go four or five weeks if, it, if need be get that dog so steady to that sitting and staying that it has no inclination to move even when you start to call the dog up when you're absolutely positive that the dog is ready and at that stage call it up a couple of times on the third occasion go back to the dog this just takes away that idea out of the dog's head that you're always going to call it it doesn't know it can't second guess you because it does not know whether you're going to call it or whether you're going to come back to it so it sits firm and rock steady so that's that part of it sit Mitchie, sit yeah. Good job.